All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings 3 with the RGA Dynasty Part 72. And we must have lost a bonus somewhere. Because High Priest Megara has dropped to poor health at 91. This could, unfortunately, be the final Megara episode. We will see. But let's see what we can pull off here today. <clears throat> so let's take care of these ransoms. I said we might as well do this on screen next time. So here we go. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. I probably should have just done it off screen, but you know, keep y'all here for everything, I guess. I haven't skipped anything yet. Why start now? Whoops. The ransom just keeps disappearing. There we go. Okay. And there you go. There should be a lot of ransom money coming in. Okay. So we need to look at what kingdom we're taking next. And it's really ugly for a lot of this. Huh. <clears throat> There's just nothing clean to take. Unfortunately. Like, I'm really at a loss here. We could go, go Ogazil, maybe? Take this section and then... Okay, there we go. There's a plan. If we won't be able to get all of it, we'll be able to get most of Ogazil in one fell swoop. So maybe that'll be our next play here. Okay. So is this a duchy or a... Yeah, we can take a duchy right there. Okay. So we declare war. Or can we get it all with the kingdom? No, but we can also get one more county. And we have no need to save piety, so I say go for it. Yep. And then this right here is two counties, so that's a duchy war. Right here is two counties, so that's a duchy war. Oh, kingdom war, I guess. <laughs> I'm not afraid to waste some, some points. Oh, come on. They're allies, and so... That's really a flaw, if you ask me. You should be able to declare war on someone, even if you're already at war through their allies. But, whatever. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's actually start in our little, like, land we have right here. That's closer to everything. You guys can start going this way. You guys can start going this way. Ooh, that's loud. All right. Right back into it we go. Time for us to conquer a world before the Mongolians arrive. A dangerous faction? I don't think that's actually accurate. I think it's just saying that because things hadn't updated yet. That is so many ransoms. Factions are being created. Enemy allies have joined. Galician Catholic populists? Wow, we haven't taken any of their land in a long time. Interesting. Flame secret revealed. Meow. I look down to see that my cat flayed his... The flame has dropped a scroll at my feet, sealed in my courtier Helen's distinct style. Giving in to curiosity, I skip the text, keeping the secret weighs on me. Child heritage secret. Okay. Interesting. Um, both sides have at least some trebuchet, so they should be good to go. Should be good to separate. There we go, there we go. Baroness Constantine, Mayor Endry. Wait, is this act faction actually building? No, they're not. Okay. But they are decent. 45%, that's something. Uh, also, we have this whole kingdom we didn't give away, did we? That's right. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. This is also really tiny. The Sind. Evangelos took over at six. Oh no. Mom and Dad passed away, huh? Only 19 counties to his name, okay. Well, here's the Despotate of Sind as well. How many vassals are we at? 96! We need to get those renowned legacies quick! Because we need to get to this one ASAP for that 10 vassal in it. We can only get 8 more, as is. We're running out. There's only this much... 
of Earth left to conquer, but we only have eight more vassals we can take before we start suffering penalties. Maybe that's what we've been gathering gold for, to be able to suffer through the penalties. Islan Nawi of Luke. Willing to join us. Of course. Contract starts with re religiously protected. <sighs> Fine. For now. For now. When is this going to update? They're not ready for us. <clears throat> 3 to 728. Literally three deaths. Thank you for vassalizing, I suppose. Uh, I should give that to somebody, huh? Yes, here we go. Um, Languedoc to Aquitaine. We actually have a few, apparently. Yes, that makes sense. Grant the vassal. The Mary to Egypt. We were originally going to take her land, weren't we? She's just... It's just not going to happen. We'll hold on to that one. And then Euphrasia to Epiphania. Yeah, that'll work. Go ahead. And that puts us down to 95 instead of 96. It's something. Freeing up one more spot is still nice. And when we take Alexandria away from Duchess Zoe's family, that'll also work. We learned Sharaseni. Send the letter. That's another language down. <laughs> We're gonna see if how many languages we can learn with Megara. Pahari. That would be her 17th language. Why not? Mayor Constantine. Oh no, she's in poor health. Can we do a feast soon? Two years. Because sometimes feasts give you really good um, rewards. 45 court artifacts. Excuse me? This would be great if we could actually use it. Another medium health boost book. That's great, but we're already using those. Yeah. Alright. A four vassal limit. Good to know that we have a book for that. In case we need that one day. This isn't bad, but it's not great. No, all these give percent renown. We can't do that. That's a cool looking furniture, though. 0.6 and 0.10. 0.8 and 0.14. Ah, dang, it's technic it's worse. Oh, but it probably looks so good. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the 0.1 piety penalty on purpose so we can have that good looking furniture. Oh, my God. And now this is even better. Uh, oh, that looks terrible. I think we're far enough in the game now that we can afford to take a small hit for the sake of satisfying appearances. There we go. Looks nice. Looks good. <laughs> Looks good. I think we're at that point. No, we're not giving Zoe away. Stop. Stop. And then let's keep it moving. Mayor Petronia. Mayor Poulet. Maybe we'll be able to pay off, like, our vassal penalty. Like, with our vassal penalties, we'll be making negative income, but we'll have so much money that it doesn't matter. Setting up, gi giving us some kind of problem for the future that will never come. Oh, wow. Alright, that's one war down. So be it. Nice and easy. Um, they have, like, the pie symbol. Who is this? That's just part of their army. Interesting. Okay, on to the next target. Uh, this is all Atira. 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 Whatever you want to call it. Interesting. Let's go there. Mayor Nikephoros. We're obese again, even though we try so hard not to be. 
Oh, the infirm penalty is busted. We hate that. We're doing everything we can, Megara. I want to try to get you to 100 if we can. I really, really do. That would be so amazing if we could pull that off. That would be so amazing if we could pull that off. Kurdar is under siege. Calm now speaks Greek. We are literally at the eastern border of the game. With our language. Hell yeah. We're cooking. I'm losing track of where we are. There we are. Thank you, Mayor Martha. Thank you, Mayor Ayamid. More land. I don't want to go all the way down there. Alright, let's go hit the cap. Uh, 28 gold, I'll take it. Let's go hit the capital. If it's faster for 28 gold, that's worth it at this point. As long as we don't get stuck with a disembarkation penalty. And even then, we'd still win. It would just be unnecessary losses. Mayor Magistos. Mayor Eusebia. I wish you could just auto-accept all of these. That'd be great. Now go take that. And it's a wrap. For that war. No longer obese. Good. We keep working on it. We keep riding the line of obese and not obese. Mayor Epiphania. Plus 28 advantage here. Wipe them out. 11 to 4,000. Thank you, Baron Magistos. Come on now. Only a matter of time before the Mongolians arrive. But when? When do they make their move? It could be 60 years from now if... if it could be 10 years from now. It could be 60 years from now. It's really hard to say. It's pretty random when they make their appearance. It could be very soon, it could be for a while, not for a while. But if they take too long, they're never gonna happen. There we go, perfect. Make the kingdom. Transoxiana can take this one over. Yeah. Grant the titles. Perfect. Now let's keep moving. We got lands to take. I don't think they're going to get there before this war is over. Five months! Whoa, this place is far apart. Eugenia, your neighbor won against your son in the Sorbian Conquest. Oh, Zaporizhia won their war. That's alright. Like I said, the ruler after Megara will take over. <clears throat> okay. Even as a Heresiarch, she's got a 10% chance of converting. I'll try. Why not? Maybe she'll ask for gold and we can hand her that. Or we hit the 10%. We did not. And we're not giving a wee cook. Nope. Nope. Count Asaru. Welcome back to the true faith. Okay. Some small counties have uh, an allegiance now. Blessed be Zeus. Baroness Agni. Mayor Raphael. Mayor Theofano. Okay. Leonto the second, the wolf. Welcome back to the true faith. Why did you leave in the first place? A degraded artifact. Yeah, a lot of them do that, actually. <laughs> no surprises there. Enforce them. Oh, could ransom him and still win the war. Let's do that. Blessed be Zeus. Duchess Antonia. Welcome back to the true faith. Force demands. And then the final war right here with Baron Diogenes. Feast in 23 months. Come on, live to be that long, please. Hang in there, Megara. Hang in there. Dukes Keenan. Welcome back to the true faith. Yeah, this war's gonna be over before the other side joins us. Yeah, that's a wrap. So be it. Okay, and then we give Transoxiana the rest of these lands here. Thank you, Mayor Constantine. 3 to 1157. Okay, and now we can go after Yanga Kent. Who were very difficult earlier. 
by not letting us declare war on them because we were at war with their allies. It's only three counties, to be honest. Kind of an awkward take. Samanid, we're at truce with... Is that my boy? No, it's not. Okay. I thought that maybe that was our friend earlier. Confident Knight. Huh. It's a cool bonus I haven't heard of. We could take Kimek. Four wars and we'd have all of Kimek. Nice. That's a decent target. We appreciate that. Then we know where we're going next. Oh, we're at truce with them. Ugh. Okay, maybe later. Caspian Steps, Daria Moose. That's pretty ugly, too. Boy, oh boy. Banu Sama. You see that? Yeah, we could take their whole kingdom right there. I mean, you know, the, the whole du jour Banu Sama. Yeah. Alright, let's do that then. It's, it's kind of getting to this point where we keep trying to find the right territory to attack based on their du jour holdings. That's a lot of counties, actually. This is going to go well. 53 days, we make our move. Assuming they don't stop us in 53 days. 92 years of age, Megara. 92! Mayor Azabella, Baroness Euphrosine, Mayor Issa. Captain Albrecht, Mayor Lucas, Baron Daniel, Count Arsenios. Thank you, everybody. Like, what are you supposed to do with 41,000 prestige? I wish there was something I could do with 41,000 prestige. More cheating. Wow, I am so surprised. Cheating in my empire? That would never happen. Seems to happen everywhere, all the time. But maybe compared to how many vassals we do have, maybe it's not happening as often as I think it is. Someone's going after Antonios again. Because he's a bastard, I guess. Guys, leave the bastard alone. I knew it! I knew this was going to happen! Oh, Zeus, how could you do this to Laurentios? If I have sinned, why did you not punish me instead? He was blameless, my perfect son. Life had so much more in store for him. Drank himself to death at the age of 74. He was just old. Oh, no. Now our player heir is our grandson, Despot Sebastianos of Scotland, who is problematic, to say the least. Prince Petros would be better. Um... Alyssa? Eh. Tamias? Uh, Tamias has four personality traits. Wow. Helen? Oh boy. Leontia? Oh no. None of them are great, to be honest. My player, Eris Sebastianos. What about his kids? God. Nicoletta's impressive, but terrible personality. Marikios. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, the, fa <laughs> the family's gonna have some issues starting soon. Oh my god. Um. Oof. And disinheriting is expensive. Damn, that's complicated. What? My random vassal? Why would he get those things? Huh? Because he's winning the vote? Interesting.
Man, Sebastianos, it's going to be hard to convince them to go for you, man. You and your misses are a mess. Yikes. Petros would at least be an upgrade for sure. Yeah, let me let me disinherit. Let me disinherit Sebastiano. I'm sorry, man, but no. 225 are now down the drain. Yep. <clears throat> yep, that's a lot of uh yep. Yep. All right, now our heir is Petros, who honestly will be much better off and is a much better person in general, even though he is insane. <laughs> but at least it's a step in the right direction. Okay, so. Prince Petros, huh? That's who needs to win the vote. Not that Petros. Oh boy. It's gonna be hard to find my kid. <clears throat> Petros. There he is. Vote for my heir. Hopefully he pulls it off. New Chancellor. Our powerful vassal in Inokientos is pretty good, so we'll go with that. And then Petros will take over Sardinia as well. Okay, modify a contract. Man, we need to get scudded together so I can do that. And more ransoms. Let's let this battle play out. Alright, we learned Pahari. Send the letter. Look at all this information on our screen. There's too much happening. There's too, there's too much. And now we have to figure out all this succession when Laurentios was honestly a fine candidate for it. But uh, we had to do all this disinheriting and stuff. That's a shame about the disinherit, by the way. But it kind of had to happen. There was no way. Look how like developed that city looks. There was no way we were going with um, our oldest grandson because, man, his personality was a mess. A full month because it's Fort level twelve. If we had, if we didn't have trebuchets, we were not capturing that. Count Ashraf learned Greek. Impressive. Send my regards. Rise of the Almohads. It seems that a fringe belief is taking hold in the county of Tin Malal. The religious movement calls itself the Almohads and speaks of needing to cleanse the Maghreb of heretics and the misguided. The local magistrates are concerned, but surely a fringe religious group led by a disgraced theologian is nothing to worry about? Failing to convert Tin Malal away from Almohadism will lead to the rise of the Almohads. I don't know who those are. <clears throat> yeah, root this out before it takes proper hold. Hmm. Oh, wow. It only takes 15 months because Despot Ricardos is a legend at this. Wow. Look at the trebuchets. Wow. I never noticed that. We look good out here. We look ready for war. Alright. Nice. One siege down, two to go probably. We'll take this in the capital. Maybe win a battle as well. We'll see. They have 14,000 soldiers somewhere. Are they busy with someone else? They are busy with some wars right now. We better win quick then. Callistos, Rodant, and Isaacios. Thank you. And Baron Eudoxios. And Vast Alcanus Culture. Interesting. Sorry, I don't like chair is loud. Enemy Holy Order is fine. So your neighbor 
Eugenia of Zaporizhia won against Countess Perislava in the tyranny against Despis Eugenia. She's holding on! It's holding on so that we can subjugate it later, and I appreciate that. Definitely, definitely. Man, we have been playing as Megara for so long. It's gonna feel so wrong to play as someone else for a little bit. 87 gold from that siege? Bro, the loot that's in these cities is nuts. This is what developed places are all about, I guess. Alright, there's another legacy. Renowned name. Plus one knight. Less mercenary, higher cost. Monthly prestige, sure, sure. So we need 13,750 and 14,250. So we need 28,000 28, renown, and then we'll get that plus 10 vassal limit. 28,000 renown, and we're getting 170 a month. Okay. So it'll, it'll be about, using that math, it'll be about, about 15, 16, maybe even 17 years. Which isn't too bad. But might be a little late, we'll see. We're 93! I really want to have this feast and try to get a health bonus from the feast. That would be so good if we pulled that off. Come on, big capital capture. Ah, damn. Nobody huge. And I don't know where these soldiers are supposed to be that we can fight. Let's go hit the Holy Order first, I guess. Appreciate you. So I was plotting against Isidoros again. Always, I swear. Whoops! I just denied an indulgence. That's my bad. I right clicked instead of left clicked. Oh well. 100 gold. Not the end of the world. By right? <clears throat> my vassals inform me of an obscure law in the county of Kebi that states that none but the best Alyssa may be its protector. Normally, such an archaic law would be dismissed, but it offers me a unique chance to put Despot Shamir, my vassal and current ruler, ruler of the Count of, County of Kebi, in his place. Shamir can keep the title by my grace. You're welcome. There's so much money in this game. 11 to 32, 70. Once we get that scuttage um, innovation, I am planning... We're not obese anymore, good. 13 months on scuttage, 3 years on divine right. It's all coming up. It's all coming up. Mayor Sophia. Indulgences, indulgences. Mayor Constantia. Baron Miletios. I guess we just keep capturing because the soldiers aren't here. Why not? Okay, in 13 months. So basically, late 1125, we'll be able to have a feast. Like, December 1125, we'll be able to have a feast. Definitely looking forward to trying to get a health boost from that. I Really, my goal at this time is to get Megara to 100 years old. To get her to be a centennial. It's going to be hard to pull off. But I think it may be possible. I'd be so stoked if we were able to pull it off. Thymios, thank you. The Hellenic Holy Order founded. The Hellenic Company of Kumbi has been established in Kumbi. Another Hellenic Holy Order. There's three of those now. Okay. That's like 12,000 soldiers right there, just cuz. Ashes to ashes, rust to... No. Let it go. Take a look at these. Oh my god, we have 60 low... Artifact. No way. Um, I'm gonna let that go. We have better stuff now. Don't need that. Don't need that. Ooh, we do want that. Hold up. Repair that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, we don't need it anymore. Don't need that. Don't need that. And, uh, I did see a comment, by the way, about handing off, like, weapons and armor to our knights. Um, and I'm sure we could do that, and I might even do it before we fight the Mongolians. Right now, it's kind of overkill, and 
not only is it not necessary, but it would take, like, it would take an hour going through our weapons and handing them off one by one to our knights. So, that would have to be, like, the whole episode if we were to do that. For real, like, I'm not even kidding. It would take so long. But it is something we can look at in the future for sure. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, where's that? I was about to say do this later, but there's only ten left. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Alright, we're letting most of this go. Yeah. That's fine. Even more ransoms. Um, an another boar hide. There's so many of these. It's nuts. Wait, don't we have Peacemaker? Can't we end the war here? Oh, he's already considering a proposal. Otherwise, we would be able to end it here. Okay, never mind. Hold on, then. Mayor Lucas. Mayor Ephrosina. There it is. Enforce demands. Mayor Petros. We're at 1125 AD. So be it. I'm not going to be sewn up in the belly of a camel. Thank you. After Antonios, I would have never imagined. <laughs> Always with these people. Sure, more piety, because that's what we need. <laughs> oh, there's really nothing we need other than just straight up counties. National size. Volga, Bulgaria. What? First I've ever heard of something like that. Yeah, I mean, look at look at how much of a mess that area is, too. It's all a mess. It's all a mess. All of it. We could take the rest of the Sotmi locations. These are all Sotmi locations. Yeah, let's clean this up. Um, but before we do that, we need to hand off some land. Uh, Banusama. He's at war right now, so we can't usurp. Okay. Yeah, that'll be alright. We need to stretch our vassals as thin as we can. Uh, because we're, we're really running at that limit right now. 94 of 104. Good. Making it happen. Okay, now let's go take care of the rest of Sotmi in one fell swoop. We'll be able to end this. Then we'd go at war to them. But, okay, hold up. Okay, hold up. <laughs> Please let me declare war. Thank you. Sometimes it doesn't let me declare war on them and their allies. And then there you go. Okay. We're taking all of it. This is the rest of uh, Scandinavia that we don't have. Then we'll have all of it. They're all split up. We can split them up. That's fine. A friend till the end. As I lay upon my bed, prostrated by my sickness. Oh no. In cursing my weak, failing body, I can barely make out the human figure approaching. Their slow steps and heavy silence are starting to scare me. They must guess my unease from the faint sounds leaving my mouth and the jerky movements of my hands. For their steps turn hurried and soon a worn hand is holding my own and a familiar face enters my field of view. Hush, Megara, it's just me, Zenobia. Oh, how it pains me to see you like this. I wish I could do something, anything, to ease your discomfort. You gain a caring friend for two years. Medium health boost! Let's go, Duchess Zenobia of Venice! Thank you! Oh, caring friend sits at this character's bedside. Health boost for two years. Thank you, Zenobia. Thank you. You pushed us back up to medium health. Let her find health. Let's go! <laughs> Zenobia, the real MVP right now. Oh, that's so good. Somebody's going after Antonios? I can't believe it. That's insane. That never happens. Oh. Petros, the good died of old age at 71. That makes sense, I guess. Damn. An adventure, and he's legendary. I'll sponsor a legendary adventure. The world is yours, my friend. 
Yeah, create an artifact of, of your own will, man. Uh, worry not, my great basilisk. Humerios bows with a dramatic flare and folds his hands. I shall venture out and explore the world in your stead while you continue ruling over your realm. What I bring back will be of such caliber that you will feel my accomplishments permeate through the memento of my adventure. There's a slight pause before he continues. On that note, is there an area of the world that you're interested in, my lady? In to be fair, India has always fascinated me, though. And this isn't going to make it any better, so let's do India. They got cool stuff in India. Mayor Jagoda. Mayor Laurentius. Okay. Need a new marshal. Rip Petros. Margarita is our second best possible marshal, and she's a powerful vassal, so we'll go with Duchess Margarita. And just like that, we are again the strongest warrior in the Empire. Even even though we are infirm and bedsick, we're still the mightiest soldier in all the realm. We're just built different like that. Megara just does things differently. What can we say? Nothing else to it. Alright, at the end of 1125 here, we're having a feast. And probably holding court as well. 93 and fine health. That's so good. Mormer Olkabar has one against your other neighbor. Okay. Good for them. Yeah, these are all one counties, except for this one's two. Time has come for my for me to depart upon my adventure, my Basilissa. My beneficiary, Humerios, bows as well as he can while weighted down by heavy bags. Before I leave, please tell me, is there anything specific you want me to keep an eye peeled for during my journey? Trust your instincts to bring me something great. Uh, okay. I want something truly unique. I'm interested to see what that will give us in the first place. Wow. Sweden. Look at you. Lofyodor is under siege. You learned Sardinian. Oh, our son did. Gotcha. Oh my god, we're not learning a language right now. Wow, we already won that war. So be it. We work fast. Four to a thousand. There goes one war down. Okay, who has sought me right now? Starachios the Strong? Got you a county for you. You're welcome. Uh, let's go learn a language, though. Um, I'm running out of languages to learn here. Magadi! Yes, of course. That'll be our 18th language with Megara. Eight, imagine being able to fluently speak 18 languages. I can't even imagine. I can barely imagine speaking two. I can only speak one because I'm lame like that. I don't want to decline, so sure, I'll take it. It's a gift. It's, it'd feel wrong to decline a gift, even if you don't want it. Just smile and nod. Smile and nod. Mayor Martha. Siege one, and that's another war down. Force demands. Another ransom, sure. Who can we imprison right now? Nah, I'm not doing 87 or 74s. 100 or nothing. Mayor Anastasios, Mayor Irenios, Mayor Eunikios. Nothing there. Fair enough. To wipe that out, maybe to capture the leader? Yeah, the Vikings can't stand up anymore. Sorry, it's past the day of the Vikings. Is Asatru? Oh no, Asatru only exists in two counties now. It's near non-existent. Oh, no, there's one right there and one right there. Okay. Alright, there's like four counties that still follow Asatru. And there's no Norse culture anywhere. The Vikings are officially extinct, all but four counties worth of Asatru faith. Oh, that's a bummer. I really like I really like the Vikings. <laughs> I like the Vikings a lot. Therakios, I got some land for you. You're welcome. Two more captures and this is done. Nice and quick. Despotissa Sergia's friendship. I'm starting to realize how much Despotissa Sergia and I have in common and how dependable she's proven herself to be during these last few months. She is 
a great per she has a great personality. Weird smile, not gonna lie. Mouth is huge, but we should spend more time together. I ain't gonna judge someone on their appearance. At least not to their face. Mayor Nikolaus. Mayor Igedia. Mayor Muzahima. Mayor Tamias. Mayor Michael. The money keeps coming, coming, and coming, coming. We're obese again. We're obese again. Come on, are you serious? And we're poor health again? <laughs> he got a weak hook from who? He t He took that? Wait. Hold up. Convert fa- Wait. Where- Oh. Damn it. It said- It said the thing was done? Can I go back? How do you- How do I see- I don't remember why I was keeping track of her. Yeah, I have no idea. Sorry. What was, um... Losing people to this movement? That's odd. Okay. Sure. Uh... Oh, because they're sieging. Got it. Where was the... Um, damn. I wish I could go back through the things that I just... I just crossed out. Is there really no way to do that? Hopefully we didn't stop swaying a faith because Eusebios came in. Dude, what is this background? Yerubaland? Oh my god. This looks sick. They're out here in the literal jungle. Some jungle book going on right here. <laughs> That's an awesome background. Sorry, I got distracted. Mayor Yulia. Mayor Marquia. Baron Yaya. <laughs> Baron Yaya. Nice name. Amir Barad won against them for the Valaya of Sakurai. Okay. That's just awkward. It's just awkward. Why are y'all always so awkward? Dismiss. Accept. Ac accept. Powerful boars in the plains. <clears throat> My lady, a message from your adventurer, Hamirios. The servant says, handing me a scroll. My search has led me to the plains of Devagiri. They are notoriously boar infested, but I have good reason to think that my goal is near. Expect my return soon. Signed, Hemirios, the scroll reads. Shows him best to choose such a risky path. By Zeus, I hope he doesn't have to fight one. 60% of a slightly higher quality... Okay. Low chance of being maimed by the boar. Let's go for it. He's overcome. He gained the trait wounded. Okay. But he's not maimed. That's good. One more war done. So be it. And then when this war is finished, that'll be it. Baron Andreas. Mayor Waha. Mayor Kilanikos. Mayor Andreas. Mayor Sulvan. Come on. Oh, it's paused. Duh. No longer obese again. We keep going in and out of obese. We're still in poor health, even with that. The standoff. Okay, so. We can have our feast in 46 days. So let's declare our, our war here. On what? So, we might have to just do Samanid, to be honest. It looks like it's split between two different kingdoms for the most part. We could probably make it happen. And we can also declare war on this little chunk right here as well. Alright, sure. No, oh, there's a truce there. That's right. And there's a truce here? No, there isn't. It's just super awkward to take. And then Kimek, I'd love to take, but we're at truce with them. Yeah. Alania is only three counties. It's a duchy. I guess we could take that real quick. But no, because the feast is going to take a long time. We need a long war. That's what we need. We need something that will take some time. Could do that for a bit. What am I missing? Mariul. All of Mariul is there. That's not bad. Indrid? We could declare war on Indrid as well. And that's all part of one kingdom. Okay, we're starting to get some options here. 
Yeah, let's do that. In let's let's do Indrid, which is a five county kingdom, and Mariul. Let's do those. Let's do that. Are they allied with either of them? No? Okay, so they won't be involved. Holy War for Kingdom. And Mariul. Holy War for Kingdom. Oh, invade the kingdom. Sure. I'll use prestige. Wait, we can't. We can? We haven't used our invasion war? Are you serious? Wait, wait, actually? Wow. At 94, we hadn't used her invasion war yet. That's shocking, actually. But okay, I'm here for it. Some enemy holy orders, alright. And I'm gonna have someone else lead. Looks like he's busy. He's Doros the Noble is both a military engineer and a holy warrior and a rough terrain expert. This guy's built for this. Very nice. Alright, in one month. Basically the beginning of December. There it is, we got Scuttage. Modify this contract to have Scuttage. Don't even need a don't even need a hook. Wow. Scuttage gets us less levies. Not even gonna need that. Gets us 20% less levies for 13% more taxes. Well, subject to a Scuttage contract, the vassal will pay half, 50% more tax than what their feudal taxes obligation dictates, while at the same time providing 75% lower, fewer levies than what their feudal levies obligation dictates. So way less men for a lot more taxes. Yes, do that. Look at that. We go from 1,350 levies to 320. But from 7 gold to 10 and a half gold. That is so good. I'm all about it. I am all about it. Scuttage with every contract I find. If the game... If we weren't already doing so well, I'd even like... Try to fix it ASAP. Have we, did we give them these other lands? We didn't. I was wondering why we were over the limit. There you go. Taken care of. How's the vassals looking? 95, okay. So we're looking okay. We're not looking great, but we're looking okay. Okay, we can hold court. And hold a feast, we're ready. We're ready. Hold court. Wait, what time is it? I've been having a lot of fun. Okay, we still got about 10 minutes, that's good. Sitting on my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors of the hall, which also means that Megara is going to survive another episode. We love it. The next petitioner is evidently somewhat of a stranger in this court, as I do not recognize her. And the eyes of Marshal and Margarita have been on them since they first entered. My lady, I have come to declare that the people of Zamindawar are refusing to pay the taxes you've levied upon us. In times past, our land and people grant rights and privileges which your recent extractions ig exactions ignore. We suggest that you address our concerns fairly. Um, okay. We can... Oh my god, look at that. Whoa! Sounds to me like you may be misinterpreting some charters. You have successfully demonstrated that the leaders of this tax revolt have simply misinterpreted an old law, and therefore their complaint is unmerited. They get control, we get stewardship to the lifetime sooner, we have 450 gold, but more importantly, we get 25% vassal taxes for 20 years. We just went from 207 gold a month to 286! That is a broken event! What? Is that income? Oh my god! Come on, let me get in here. <laughs> what? Yeah, I want to see how much we can get paid. <laughs> yeah! Wow, he's giving us a lot of levies, but down to 2,400 levies, so we get 41 gold just from this guy alone. Oh, it's already been changed from him. Okay. My guest Walid approaches my throne with a smirk on his face and bows deeply. Greetings, your majesty. During my recent trip to the Karadide High Chiefdom, I learned some fascinating tidbits about several of High Chief Tarkhan's subjects. I would be happy to share these with you for a price. 
Um, be gone, rumor monger. My code has, court has no places for the likes. Has no place for the likes of you. Blackmail material? I don't need blackmail material. Thank you. A markedly disgruntled despotist of Chrysogeny hurries to your throne. High priest, my legal rights over the county of Lepusna are well attested. Those tracts have long been considered an integral part of my duchy of Bougiac. Will you support my claim and have your vassal despotista Cleopatra relinquish what does not belong to her? Um, huh. The county of Lepusna. They're fighting over a county? For real? 21 prowess. Cleopatra's got 29 and she is currently who owns it. Um, I'm okay with um, her having an advantage since she currently has it. You'll decide this with your sword arms. Cleopatra wins the duel. Sorry, you tried, Chrysogeny, but you lost. My business here is done. Alright, and then we host a feast as well. Let's go. In Byzantium, of course. How's development going in Byzantium, by the way, I wonder? We don't need a guess this time. We have a lovely time ahead of us. Byzantium is up to 55 development. No way! It's at the penalty? Yeah, hold up. We need a new innovation. We just got scuttage. Urbanization now reached the maximum existing development penalty at 55 development. I guess we need that. Wow. Let's work on it then. In six years, we'll have that, and in 21 months, we'll have Divine Right. There's almost nothing left for us to get, and it's nowhere near 1200 AD. We're crushing this. Wow. There's 32 count counties that are Hellenic. Warriors by merit in 24 years, okay. So where's the penalty at? Or does it kick in after it goes over 55? Yeah, I, th I think the penalty hasn't hit yet because it's not over 55. Like, 55 is the current max, and it's at that. How about Rome? How's Rome doing? 48 development? And then these places are probably awful still. 11, 10, 10, 11, 13. At least they're double digits now, but they've been bad all game. 55 in Byzantium. We're crushing that. Okay, anyway, back, back to the wars. I got distracted. Feast begins in eight months. And hopefully we get some health bonuses in here because we're back at poor health. Even with our caring friend helping us out. Oh, rat free is gone. Flame! <laughs> Flame, go catch some rats. We need that huge boost. Ooh, that music though. God, I love that music when it kicks in. It sounds so good. We gotta get Megara to live <laughs> to live six more years. The Narpalid Kingdom now speaks Greek. Nice. Zoe's an experienced fighter, I doubt it. Wow, really? What just happened? Huh? When did we capture this guy? What? Did we fight a battle? What is happening here? I'm sorry. My antiquarian Icotrine approaches me with a worried expression on her face. My lady have grown increasingly concerned about your secure, flexible scale armor. In a state of utter disrepair, it's falling into its coming apart. <coughs> it's fine if it does, to be honest. In order to save it, I have a proposal. Recently, I've won a dusty scroll at dice from a shady character in a traveling fair. A very fortunate deal, since its content played well into my budding interest in alchemy. The old scroll describes a secret potion that is ensured to make any artifact even better than new. Please let me try it. Sure. Go for it. We'll find out what happens soon, I guess. Wow, I don't know what happened here, but apparently we won this war. <laughs> That's so odd. That is so odd. Kashmir! Wow, the artifact actually got repaired. Nice. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what happened here, but we won, apparently. Oh, uh, this is a tiny little piece. Transoxiana. Yeah, he can use some more land, sure. There you go. <clears throat> now we take the other target. Despotissa Estefania the Greedy. Who's not in our dynasty. The Cocky Fiend. Uh, 
Lead them, Isidoros the Noble. You're in poor health, but you're still gonna be great. That Graceful Aging is so good, because it lets us have all these Hateria that are like... That shouldn't be that strong, because they're so old, but instead... Look at that. Our weakest Hateria in our active army right now is at 37. Theodora the Wolf. That Graceful Aging is nuts. And what's our Knight Effectiveness right now? 443? I think our new Marshal's still working on improving that. Yeah, 31% more is going to be possible. <coughs> I would probably everything he knows, including names that have been exchanged for the details of another secret I know. I'll... Oh god, this is probably not the correct answer, but... No. Sorry. <clears throat> that's not the play that's not the game Megara plays. She's a good person. <clears throat> After lots of hard work, I finally learned Magadi. Send it to Raja Ganesha. Okay. We can only learn one more language. Yeah, this is where the Telugu was. Scythian. And then that'll be it. That'll be our limit. Wait, it said 18 out of 18? But we had 19. What happened? 74 learning. God, we know a lot. Okay, Baron Stefano. Mayor Niketas. Mayor Hectorios. I don't know if there will be another leader like Megara. <laughs> Granicus and Megara have really been like the top leaders of our whole playthrough for sure. They cannot be stopped. Ah, oh, we lost our high almoner. That's good. No, I was thinking of this guy. Never mind. That's not good. Give me my, my high almoner back. Oh, we can have a musician. They're not going to be good musicians, but a musician nonetheless. <laughs> Go to Agni. Make it happen. And then high almoner. The only one who's excellent. Easy choice. None of these are valuable prisoners for the war, so go ahead and sell them. <clears throat> Alright, let's go attack them. How dare you? So boldly make a play on our territories? Oh my god, they're gonna go away? No, never mind. They okay. Plus 55 advantage. 110% extra damage due to Isidoros. Just outdoing Grandmaster Mutic, plus the defensive advantages. Let's light him up. Thanks for showing up, guys. Greetings, my amicable liege. I've arrived in Constantinople to bring you rich gifts. Thank you. It's been a while since we've had someone do this. I accept your generous gifts, Duchess Gregoria, for 225 renown as well. Wonderful. Twenty to eighty-two hundred. Yep, sounds about right. And then twelve to sixty-two hundred. Yep, sounds about right. <laughs> Which one of you left a comment saying it's like our military is a meat grinder? <laughs> You're right. I should find who said that. Inspiration. <laughs> Bandits on the road. My liege, the adventurer Hymerio sends word. The servant exclaims, holding out a letter. For ten days and ten nights, me and my party has been hiding. The bandit lord Gonsen has sent a block has set a blockade on the road. We must travel. What do you advise? Caution? Or should we fight them, trusting Zeus to keep us safe? Signed Hymerios, the parchment reads. Seems in quite a predicament. How would we be able to send him a letter in time? <clears throat> yeah, he's gonna fail that. Oh my god. No guts, no glory? He's probably gonna fail that too. There's a 9% chance he straight up, straight up dies if we say no guts, no glory. Ugh. All for a slightly higher quality, possibly. Make them pay. Oh, he's wounded. Damn it. He keeps getting wounded. He's struggling out there. Here, Dorothea, thank you. Oh my god, what time is it? I lost track, didn't I? I, de I definitely did. I definitely did. Okay, we gotta call it here. Two, two to three. 
All right, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining High Priest Mega and I on this journey with the TRCN Dynasty. Oh, we're at 1751 counties. We're, we have almost two-thirds of the world now under our thumb. Insane. Thank you again so much for being here. And I'll see all of you for more High Priest Megra, because she's hanging in there. Next time. <laughs> I can't believe she's hanging in there, to be honest.